If you just hit publish and walk away to grab your coffee, your video might just sit there with no views. Hey, what's up? Arthur here. Welcome to Mobile Vlog. And today I'm going to walk you through 10 steps that will help your video get maximum views right after it's published. All right, first things first, name your video file something that clearly reflects what it's about. This isn't just going to help you find the file easily later, but also help YouTube understand what your video is all about. Why is this important? Well, YouTube doesn't just analyze the description text, also looks at the file name. A good descriptive name can seriously help with your video's SEO, making it easier for your audience to find it. Instead of something boring like video final MP4, use something more informative like how to optimize your YouTube video 2025 MP4. Small step, but it's a big deal when it comes to setting your video up for success. Don't skip it. Moving on to step number two, make the title irresistible. This is one of the most important parts of the process, so give it the attention it deserves. Your title needs to be both informative and intriguing, something that makes viewers want to click on your video. Use triggers like time, money, famous people, or anything that sparks an emotion. For example, a strong title could be something like, do this after uploading your video, 100% view boost, including key phrases will also help you to better understand what your video is about. Make sure to use power words like how, why, and best way, along with numbers and questions. These elements grab attention and increase click-through rates. Let's look at some examples of how this works, focusing on the power of those clickable triggers. Did you know that people use YouTube like a search engine? That's why it's crucial to include keywords that will help users find your content. Your title should be clear, concise, and informative so that both the algorithms and viewers instantly grasp what your video is about. For instance, a title like a Top 10 Gifts for Her, This March 8 Ideas She'll Love includes keywords like Gifts for March 8, Gift Ideas, making it SEO friendly and helping your video rank better in search results. Remember, your title needs to pop to stand out in the fast scrolling feed. An intriguing question, a bold statement, or even an emoji these tricks will help make your videos stand out. For more on keyword optimization, check out our video, Secret YouTube Settings. Before we move on to step three, let me tell you about our most amazing package, Movavi Unlimited. Why talk about it now? Because right now, it's the best time to grab the full set during our epic holiday discounts. And the discounts, they are massive. You can get up to 80% off on Movavi software during our holiday sale. Our biggest bundle, Movavi Unlimited, has everything you need to make pro-level videos and photos without any hassle. The interface is super easy to use, so you will get the hang of it in no time, even on mid-range computers. With Movavi Unlimited, you get access to over 6,000 effects and tools, all for the price of just one program. Here's what you can do. Easily create stunning videos with AI-powered features, enhance photos with AI, boost colors, change backgrounds, remove objects, record your screen effortlessly, capture online calls, webinars, tutorials, and more, convert videos, audio, and photos at lightning speed. Spice up your videos with creative effects that can be added with just one click. And hey, if you want to try out the video editing software before committing to a subscription, you totally can. Mobile Video Editor is perfect for creating bright and engaging YouTube videos and social media content. Download it for free and enjoy unlimited access. No time restrictions. Now let's move on to step number three, optimizing your description. This is crucial for how your video ranks in search engines, so don't overlook it. Start with a brief summary of the video so viewers immediately know what they're going to watch. You can even use tools like ChatGPT or other AI services to help you write it. I personally recommend the Monica extension for Google Chrome. Super handy and it supports the popular DeepSeek. I talked more about this in our recent video, how to make YouTube videos with AI, which you can find in the video description below. In that video, you'll also find keywords like creating YouTube videos, AI tools, ChatGPT, and YouTube content, you should definitely add those kinds of keywords to your own descriptions to make your content more SEO friendly. And don't forget to add links to other videos and playlists in your description. This
This keeps your audience engaged and encourages them to explore more of your content. Next up is step four, add in tags. How do you pick the right ones? First, make sure they are relevant to the content of your video. For example, if you're talking about YouTube growth, use tags like YouTube SEO, video editing, and channel promotion. Second, think about their popularity. Use tools like Google Keyword Planner or Google Trends to check how many other videos are using the same tags and see how likely it is for your video to show up in search results. But don't go overboard. Keep it to about three to five relevant tags. This way, YouTube will better understand what your video is about and show it to the right audience. It will help your content show up more in search results and recommendations. Next step, step number five creating a thumbnail that makes people want to click. What do we mean by click worthy? Well, your thumbnail should stand out bright, bold, and with a strong contrast to catch the eye of your potential viewers. Thumbnails featuring faces with motions tend to grab more attention, so make sure to include that. You can also use arrows, highlights, or create some intrigue, like uh, with a phrase such as the mistake everyone makes. A good tip, place the emotion on the right side and your main text or hook on the left. This layout works better for the way people read thumbnails. Now, what about using all caps in the title and thumbnail? Personally, I'm not a big fan of caps, but hey, it works. So if you want to boost clickability, go ahead and use big text. Just three to five words is enough to make sure it's easy to read. Moving on to step number six, adding end screens and cards. Cards are those little pop-up links that appear during the video, guiding viewers to other videos of yours. End screens are those blocks of recommended videos that show up at the end of your video. Make sure to place them at the end of the video as it encourages viewers to keep interacting with your channel, which can boost your overall watch time and engagement. Step number seven, setting the visibility of your video. Before hitting publish, set your video to private or unlisted for anywhere between two or 24 hours. Why do this? It gives YouTube time to analyze your video, allowing the algorithm to better understand its content and rank it accordingly. It's a small but important step that can help your video gain views faster after it's made public. Step number eight, set up your subtitles. YouTube can automatically generate subtitles in various languages, but I like to take a different approach. The automatic subtitles YouTube creates often have errors, so I recommend creating them manually in your editing software. For example, you can do this in Mobile Video Editor. It also generates subtitles automatically using AI, but the accuracy is much better and you can always edit and customize them however you need. By the way, we have a full guide on auto subtitles on our channel, so be sure to check it out. So what should you do in the first few hours after publishing your video? Is there anything you should actually do? First off, if you have a smaller channel, make sure to watch your video all the way through. This helps boost your video stats right away. It also increases audience retention since YouTube takes into account how long viewers stick around to watch your content. Second, leave a comment under your own video. This can boost engagement and might encourage other viewers to join the conversation. Third, don't just share your video on social media and send the link to your friends. Doing this can actually cause YouTube to recommend your video to the wrong audience. Instead, it's important to check your CTR click for rate and, and if it's low, try updating your thumbnail and title to make your video more appealing. Finally, step number 10, create YouTube shorts based on your main video. The platform allows you to link shorts to your full length videos, which helps attract more attention to your primary content. Don't worry about spending tons of time on this. You can use AI tools like Nexus Clips to create quick engagement clips from your full video. This streamlines the process and makes it way more efficient. Pro tip, once you've created your shorts, make sure to link them to your main video through YouTube Studio. This increases the chances that viewers will move on to the full video, will give a nice boost to your stats and reach. Remember, just uploading your video isn't enough. You need to properly optimize and promote it. These 10 steps will help YouTube's algorithm understand that your video is high quality and worth recommending to viewers. Subscribe if you want more YouTube growth strategies. I will see you in the next video.